hello and welcome in this video I am going to show you how you can work with stripe and payment so we have done already the e-commerce shop and we are in the checkout page so after completing the checkout we have to get payment from the user this is what you are going to use we are going to use stripe as we promised so stripe is a payment gateway like they have an, a cool API for accepting payment Payment is one of the most risky things you never want to do it yourself like you never want to take someone's credit card and store it in your database or doing some API transition using API to the bank account and stuff like that there is always a gateway or an API that you are going to use so Stripe is one of them and this is they are going to be some this is very popular and you can use it as a developer as a test mode to see how everything is working so in this video I'm going to show you around the stripe and how the documentation is going to work and the different types of payment they are accepting this is very important to know because if you are completely new to stripe or if you have tried this in the past they have done a lot of changes in the coming uh, version so let's start you know in the previous video we completed our checkout page and here I have put a little uh, placeholder here for the payment someone should enter their card details and they should pay it so in this video I'm going to show you how everything is working here when you add something how it is going to be to the card but I will not implement anything just showing how everything is going to work and some of the security issues with our application so far we have not worked or we have not uh, wrote any line of code about the security I will do that in a future video but for now let's start with Stripe so if you come here you can sign up for a free account they are uh, the, the way they are going to charge is like uh, if you are getting paid for real money so they are going to do a little of commission out of that and if you go to the dashboard from here uh, you know that this is uh, in the developer section here make sure you are viewing test data if you are viewing a test data it means any data you will see is a test mode and if you can do a lot of um, payments as a test it will not be a real money but you can see all you all your data and all, all your payment here as a graph and I have not done anything so far for my account so let's start going to the documentation and I will show you how everything is working if you come to uh, here in the top right corner going to the documentation I will show you uh, I have used this in the past but when I check out the documentation recently I saw a lot of changes so I will explain everything to you how everything is working here from here you will come to the payment I will show you the details of how other stuff like uh, the payment if I come back a little there are some menus like billing and they have connect they have something like radar and stuff like that I will talk about this in a future video but for now you will go to the payment so you are accepting a payment in order to integrate a stripe with your application so you know our application is with pure JavaScript so far so pure JavaScript will run on the client side if you come here the way to integrate is you will come to the checkout this is what you are going to do and if you are integrating there is two way to integrate it either you will use the client the client quick start or the server quick start so if I come here in the first documentation they are going to give you example of how everything is working I will explain you how the client one work and how the server work so firstly the client work the client one is in the front end so if you are having the client one is for us for example here the user is going to fill the information and they have a price this is uh, this is not like a fixed price so it will change someone might add two product three product four product as much as they want the price change and they can pay it, it uh, since our application is in JavaScript user can manipulate this prices the total price here so if they want to pay something so there should be some way to protect user from doing it so the way it works is it is not going to take whatever price you have written here of course it will take it from the client but it should be sent to a backend server and from the backend server they should grab the price the total price should be calculated in the backend too as well as it is going to be in the front end and that is 
if you are using the client quick start you have to take care of the backend yourself and the server quick, quick start is what the stripe is going to give you how this one is working this is uh, like for subscription you know some services have pricing table and those pricing table are fixed let's say they are going to charge you monthly of ten dollar or twenty dollar or fifteen or whatever they can so that is a fixed price and every table has a specific key and if someone is selecting one of them it will charge them based on that and if they charge it then they have received that money so that is fixed but for us since our application the price change you cannot create like a set of fixed price in your application in your uh, stripe dashboard you can come here and you can create product and those products are fixed and this product are different from the product you have here you cannot say like every product you create you can come here you create another pro product here think of the product in the stripe as a pricing table or a subscription let's say plan for uh, any application this is where you can add it but for our application we cannot use the server we can use the client one but there should be some way to handle the server side now I will tell you how we will handle the server side mostly most of my subscriber on the channel are familiar with PHP so you can do that using PHP since our application is in JavaScript the only option we can use is Node.js how you will write Node.js that is what I'm going to tell you now so what we are going to do is you can integrate everything you can read through this one later but for now what I'm going to tell you is I'm going to use Node.js as the backend so where you are writing Node.js you will write Node.js in the cloud function of Firebase if you come here in our application so far we have not talked uh, anything about the cloud function in Firebase but in the future video I'm going to show you how you can use cloud function basically cloud functions are Node.js code in the server and I will show you where you can write it and how you can write it and how you can deploy your application and that is how we will handle a stripe payment so if I illustrated the illustrated like show you how everything is working if a client is going to write something here they will enter their credit card information here they will click on the pick with credit it will send this price to the server but we will not use this one as a calculation it will send to our uh, backend our backend will grab the product ID from here it will take the price it will do all the calculation and it will charge the customers card based on what we have on the backend so the user cannot manipulate anything and it will uh, the stripe will return a token which I will talk in the future video and based on the token we can charge the customer so that is how you take care of the security so far anything we have written is in the client side so for the server side we will use the firebase uh, cloud function and we will write node.js code to handle our backend code so i hope it has been informative for you in the uh, upcoming video i will show you how you can integrate the client quick start and we will add our stripe payment so let me show you some of the examples they have also if you have time i will just explain some more of it so this is javascript one of course they have some cool examples and this is going if you are going live they will they will have just one button to go live but of course so what else they have in the documentation is like they have a uh, stripe.js and element if you are new to new version of stripe so they have done a great job of creating some predefined ui element if you come here they say stripe element is going to be a pre pre build ui components you scroll down this is how it, it looks one of the example i have used here so this is how it, how you can customize it if you have your application you can create a payment or a checkout page which is going to be as nice as this one and if i scroll down there is a lot of cool example here is one of the example this is the checkout and it looks so beautiful like this is what you can integrate in your application and it looks uh, very nice and based on you the theme of your application you can integrate it so they have a ui elements also for that so if you are new to stripe so i hope it has been informative 
and you know what the different way of payment so in the future video and upcoming video i will show you how you can integrate the client quick start thank you for watching and i will see you in the future videos